So now, what we're going to do is install <coughs> XBMC on it. So if you go down to settings, general, about, you can see the IP address. I've shown you in a couple other videos, but now remember that IP address for me, it's 192.168.1.103. So you want to open up PuTTY. 192.168.1. Sorry, so PuTTY is a little lightning bolt computer program. I'll put a link to it in the description and a pop up. And you get this, man, you want to put it in right in that spot there, that number that we just found. Just having a bit of trouble focusing. There you go. Dot one, dot one, zero, three. Enter. Might take a couple minutes, or not a couple minutes, but probably a couple seconds just to find it. So it's really taking its time, but there we go. It's going to give you a menu. You get yes, no, or cancel. Just go to yes. You can't see it here, but you probably have the same little pop up. Just gonna click yes. I'm gonna say log in as you want root R O O T enter password alpine A L P I N E. Might have put it in wrong, nope. Okay. Now the commands we need to install XBMC currently. I have them saved. I'm just gonna copy and paste them in, but I'll put them in the comment or in the uh, in the comment and in the description. I'll also upload a script if you guys want to use a script. So if you're copying and pasting all you have to do is go to, see I have all the commands over here in a separate document. Um, if you just copy and then when you go put your cursor back into the putty screen, right click and uh, it'll automatically paste it in there and push enter for you. So I just did the first one. So this is going to take about 30 seconds here so bear with me. And we'll just go through entering all the commands. First command's entered, copy the second command, copy, paste, third command, copy, paste, it's going to say yes, yes, here we go, it's going to install XBMC, it's going to take about a minute 45 to install this, so. I'll just leave this open. So uh, when that's that command's done, your Apple TV is just going to do a restart. Don't worry about that. You don't need to do anything. I'm going to copy the next command in. Boom. Copy the next command. <clears throat> there we go. Connected. It's going to download this file. Looks like it's going to take about 90 seconds. Bear with us here. Okay, so that's done. Next command starts with D package, D P K G. So 
one's gonna do its thing here. Again, your Apple TV will do a quick restart, but it's okay. Now the last command starts with RM, which stands for remove. We'll go ahead and install that, hit that one. That's all done. Now that that's all done, we can go over here. We see that we have this XBMC option, so we're gonna go ahead and click it, and see if it works. And there we go, we have 5.1 with XBMC. Now, the last step that I'm gonna do is to restore the backup file that I made earlier. So in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and leave uh, Putty open because we need that. We also wanna open WinSCP, which is the little one with the blue and green arrow. Click that, you can get this menu. Go ahead and click New. Put in that same IP address you were putting in before, 192.168.1.103 or whatever yours is. Username is root, password is alpine, enter, and you get another thing. Click OK. Now, you want to go up a folder to private slash var, and then mobile library preferences this is where we're going to drag the xpmc folder so if we take so now i dragged my xpmc folder onto my desktop so when i first backed it up so go to wherever you backed up your xpmc folder to drag it on over it's going to say copy this might take a couple minutes depending on your internet connection um, just overwrite any files that ask you if you want to overwrite. Um, and after it's all said and done, there's one more command you have to enter in to putty. Uh, I have it set in a script, but I'll open up that script so we can look at it while we're waiting. I'll also upload that script if you use AutoHotKey at all, or check out my other videos on how to use AutoHotKey. Um, you can see uh, this actually gives a better view it's because kind of focused now of putty, what putty and when scp look like you can see them in the bottom two bottom left icons there they're gone now um so over here i'm just gonna go edit script so we can see the exact command that we have to enter so the command that we have to enter is this one here i'll put it in the description it's c h o w n dash r mobile colon mobile space slash private slash fire slash mobile slash library slash preferences slash xpmc and you don't need to put in that enter you just need to push enter all right i'll put in uh put it in my description as well for you guys so you guys uh know what to put in so you put that command into putty after this is done so it's at 20 percent right now i'm gonna stop the video for now i'll come back when it's done thanks all right so as you can see we're at 94 percent now Probably another 20 seconds or so. If you want to speed this process up, um, I would suggest having both your computer and your Apple TV hardwired to your network. Otherwise, if you have faster Wi-Fi than me, it'll go faster as well. Um, I'll upload my XBMC folder in case anyone wants to just install all the add-ons that I've installed, I have one channel, ice films, etc, etc. So you can see it's done now. Um, now we need to go into putty and enter that command. So for me, if I have the script running, I'm just going to push Windows and X. See that it just did the command right there. Boom. Done. Now we can go over here. Screen saver is running because it's been on for so long. Remember, don't turn it off because if you do, then you have to... Uh, do that tethered, tethered boot up again. So 
So I'm going to go into XBMC, load it up. I should have all my add-ons. So videos, add-ons. And there we go. There's, for example, one channel. Hopefully I don't get an error when I open it. There we go. TV shows, movies, etc., etc. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and like the video. And uh, if you have any questions or need any help with anything, just put in a comment and I'll do my best to help you. Thanks.